Hey everyone, I'm super excited about this video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you five tips on how you can ace your opponents with your serve. Now, prior to this video, I've always subscribed to the idea that the pickleball serve is just something you should be high percentage and just get the ball in. However, after I met Zhao Mei and he taught me how to really serve big, it completely changed my game and I've actually developed little tips and tricks to how to serve really, really hard. And surprisingly or not so surprisingly, I've gotten a lot of points just by improving my serve. And if I'm not acing my opponents, then I'm actually just getting a really big head start in my games. So today I'm gonna to share with you my tips. Let's get into it. So my first tip for you is location. On that side, I set up a camera over there. I picked four different spots for you, depending on whether you're serving right side or left side. But the idea is the location that I'm trying to hit my serve is to their backhand. Most players, nine times out of 10, their backhands are going to be slightly weaker than their forehand. So if I'm serving on this side and my opponent is across from me over there, their backhand is going to be to their left side if they're right-handed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to stand in an open stance and I'm going to stand straight forward to that line there. So all I have to do from here is I just have to hit a big serve, laser beaming it down the middle. I call this a laser beam serve. So I'm going to show you kind of the technique first. I'm using my Tossin Pro here to show my technique and I have the setting on the highest. A lot of people say, Ed, that's too high. That's going to be illegal serve. But this ball right here is below my navel, my belly button. So this is actually my ideal feed. When you serve, I typically see people varying where they're serving up or down here. Sometimes they toss it, sometimes they're dropping it. I always like to tell people, try to serve it right around your belly button region because that's where you're going to be able to generate the most power in your strike zone. So that's how it's going to look like when I'm hitting straight down the line. Let's use some live balls here. Okay. So I'm trying to get as close to that center line as possible, but also I'm trying to get as deep as possible. So I'm trying to hit that red target over there. Okay. Tip number two is I highly recommend the open stance serve. If you watch my serving video with Zhao Mei, he was doing kind of a semi-close stance. Now I have the paddle and the ball. I come here, to throw it forward. Oh, yeah. yeah. That really helped me to develop this understanding that the power comes from that forward momentum explosiveness. I'll put a link at the end of the video for you to watch what my error was when I used to serve like this and I kind of take away power from the ball. But I've actually found great success from hitting a open stance serve, meaning I'm facing here and it looks extremely unassuming. I'll show you what I mean. Bounce the ball a few times and then snap, snap. snap. So it's extremely unassuming because I'm not giving any information on where I'm hitting it. All I'm doing is standing and then as I twist this way, I'm kind of coiling a little bit and then I snap. So a lot of the power is coming from my legs to generate that initial snap effect. And I'm using that kinetic chain to twist with my core and whip forward like that, dragging my paddle behind with wrist lag. For comparison, if I had done a closed stance serve where I'm kind of facing this way, and I charge forward like that, yes, you can get a lot of power, but my argument is if I do this, my serve, even though more powerful, becomes more predictable because they know I'm about to hit hard. But if I'm just right here, unassuming, 002, boom, I can still hit a very big serve and it's quite surprising. I've caught a lot of opponents off guard by the open stance serve right here down the middle, boom, right there. It's all about that snap feeling. All right, so tip number three, vary your serves. So if you have a good serve and you're just always hitting to the same spot, you're always just doing this, right? 
it becomes predictable and your opponents become comfortable. I don't want my opponents to be comfortable. So what I like to do is I like to vary where I serve, especially now that they know that I can hit right at their backhand down the line, you might see them do this. You might see them shuffle over to try to cover their backhand a little bit. In which case, I'm gonna show you that other target I'm about to hit over there. So if they're now leaning towards that middle side, I can angle my paddle at the last second and I can hit outside the court. I'll show you what I mean. So here I'm pretending that, okay, I'm gonna hit down the line again. I'm gonna hit right down the middle, except, oh, I almost got that one. Okay, I don't have a big windup because I'm in an open stance serve. So it's very hard to read where I'm gonna hit. Down the line, to the cross there, okay. So now my serve almost becomes like this guessing game where if my opponent stands too far this way, I'm gonna hit down the, down the middle to the backhand. Now if they stand over here, and I'm gonna hit outside the court. All right, so tip number four, you can also vary where you stand. Just mess with their mind. I want you to stand all the way out here. Now you have a beautiful angle. I'm not even sure if you guys can see me on that camera, but now you have a beautiful angle to hit a super wide shot. Okay, don't worry if you don't get a perfect one that's hitting that green dot. The point is that you're just making your opponents think of what you can possibly hit. So you're in their minds now, standing all the way wide here. Boom, okay. I'm gonna hit a few on this here. So here, open stance, here, coming across like that, okay? You see that ball spinning? Take your hand on a pickleball and just try to roll that ball with your hand. And you'll see that in order to roll this ball, you need to go low to high, right? Woo! <laughs> Same thing with here. Without topspin, your balls will look something like this. That's a flat ball where I just kind of whack it like this. That's a flat ball. There's no topspin on that. But if I add a little topspin, now you see how it kind of has a little curve. Open stance here. There you go. And then once you get the hang of that smoothness, you could do something like this. Boom. Okay. All right, tip number five. After you've shown them that you can hit this angle over there and they know they have to take another couple of steps there, this is the really fun part. I see them <laughs> shuffling over there because they're like, okay, Ed's gonna go for his cheeky little out the back door shot. Except now I'm actually gonna hit a laser beam down that middle. So I'm gonna try to hit that red target there. So here, they think I'm going there now. I might even flick my eyes over there at the last second to look at that just to really mess with their mind. But I'm going to look at that red dot there. Okay. As you practice this more and more, you'll be surprised on how accurate you can be with this open stance serve because the whole purpose of this is to make my opponents think I'm hitting that, except I'm gonna angle my paddle to hit that instead. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed that and learned a few things. Hopefully you can utilize these tips to start weaponizing your serve and acing your opponents. Special thanks to Topson Pro for sponsoring this video. I use this all the time. It's really great to train with and help teach how to get that top spin down. I'll put a link for you guys in below so you could try it out yourself if you want. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.